what's up everybody once again it's brand man sean and i got a very special guest for you guys it is jens the guru he is a digital marketing guru you probably know him from instagram he has a lot of advice that he's giving in marketing it's particularly for musicians now this conversation though is a snippet from an interview that i have upcoming with him on diverse music diverse musicians and he has a take that i really think you guys should listen to they might just be a new artist so like no situation i don't need no money i just might happen to see you we're out somewhere or whatever and i kind of guide them or check in some of their campaign data and i'm like yo man you you might want to reconsider some things i like i haven't even heard your music yet necessarily yeah. but dude, this response you, you, yeah. you might want to think about it or at least go back in the lab a little bit anyway i'm so yeah, it's, it's the thing about artists is they, they take their process very, very personal. And yo, you have the easiest job in the world. All you have to do is create, my nigga. You know what I mean? Just create. So it don't matter if somebody says this song is garbage. Cool. You can go out there and create five more. You know what I'm saying? So create, 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 get better. You know what I'm saying? And don't take nothing you hear personal. That's just that's just what the what the marketplace is telling you. You know what I'm saying? And they're gonna tell you what they like from you. It's just will you be willing to listen, whatever. And another thing to you guys, too, when you have something that's working for you, right, don't decide to do something different, yo. You know what I'm saying? Lots of times, artists will see success in somewhere, whatever, and instead of staying here and doing it consistently to build momentum, they'll go, oh, that was great. I like that feeling right there, but let me do something completely different, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Complete yeah. opposite of what I did here, you know what I'm saying? That's the biggest problem I... I I have right now talking to people who are so hell bent on this whole diversity trend. Like, oh, I'm diverse. First of all, I can hear that noise. Most people aren't really as diverse as they say when you look at these artists who are successful. And yeah. but two, like if you're starting from ground zero, that diversity isn't going to allow you to build a foundation. Like, Man, it's it's a, it's a lie, right? It's a super lie. At the end of the day, and I got a few videos where I talk about this on the gram, right? You're only talking to a select group of people, yo. you know what I mean? Yeah. So identify who exactly your message is tailored for whatever. And once you do that, everything's gonna be easy for you. It's gonna be like certain artists, you notice that, yo, like it's very easy for them to come up with bar bars, verses, whatever, freestyles, whatever, because they know exactly who they're talking to, or whatever, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? A lot of you guys out here still in the part where you're, you, you know, you're amateur in this thing, so, you, so you're imitating what, you, what you're seeing out there. You feel like you gotta, talk about this, you got to do that. No, find out exactly who you are and who your message is telling it to, whatever, and everything will be easy for you guys. You're not diverse. No one who's successful in this thing has, is, is talking to everybody. They're talking to a select group of people, and then those select group of people are going out into the world and telling other people, check this guy out, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You got to have your core fan base, man. You know what I mean? You got to have that. You can be diverse and different. You might be multi-talented, be able to touch on different things, but in terms of what you do and yeah. this is part of the thing, you have to tailor that group. And I always say, if you have trouble coming up with new content and ideas, then you probably don't have a good handle on what your brand and voice is in the first place. You know, I just made a video about that the other day, brand yeah. identity, yeah? Yeah, they say like, if you're, because I was having conversations with somebody, they were like, if you're wishy-washy because you have no brand identity. Yeah. That's so true, yeah. you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, you don't, know who, you don't know who you're talking about. So, yo, that's how you see certain artists where one week they sound like Lil Wayne, next week they sound like Lil Pump, next week they sound like, you know what I'm saying? They sound like Takashi, next week they sound like uh, the Blueface, whatever. Blueface just came out. We about to have Blueface clones, whatever, because all they're doing is, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All they're doing is imitating what's, what, what they see out here moving because they have no brand identity. They don't know who they're speaking to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They just riding the wave you know what i mean all right again that's a snippet from an interview that i will be dropping pretty soon i'll put the link to that full interview in the description below so if you're watching this after the full interview ends up dropping that link will then become active but other than that let's really think about this whole diverse music thing i've said it again and again and typically i advise against it just think about it this way right if somebody is a fan of this style of music but then you also have a song that's this style of music and then you have another song that is this style of music. So you have these three different songs and they all may be some form of hit in their own respective category. But what if I'm a fan of this and I hate these two, right? Then now in my mind, you're a one hit wonder. It doesn't matter if these are hits in their own categories. They're a one hit, you're a one hit wonder to those particular fans. So therefore you don't necessarily have fans of your music 
You get what I'm saying? You have a fan of individual songs. You're splitting this up, particularly when you're coming from ground zero. You need to be focused on giving value to the fans. It needs to be more outward focused and giving them value so they have time to convert for to a fan versus saying, I'm so awesome. I can do these all these things. You're supposed to love me because being a music person or I'm mean, being an artist really when it comes to being in the entertainment industry means you're of service. You have to serve fans for them to then become fans of you. Now, another thing to think about is this. A lot of these artists that get called diverse are less diverse when we talk about really different types of music and more so eh, stylistically diverse in one category. Yeah, it's hip hop, R&B, maybe a trap, soul sound, they rap pretty good. Like even Tory Lanez isn't greatly diverse in a wide spectrum. All of his music might be diverse in terms of he can sing, he can rap, and he can do, you know, sli slightly different styles and everything. And it's not that he can't do other stuff, but the type of stuff he puts out into the marketplace is still stuff where if you like this, you probably like that too. Maybe not as much, but you're still already pretty warmed up and it's a higher likelihood. It's a lot of overlap. And that's when you can kind of be successful and be a sense of a diverse artist versus being truly diverse when you're touching on things that don't have any fan overlap. Now, of course, I always would like to know what you guys think in the comment section below. Now, I mean, maybe there's an artist that you think really pushes against this idea and maybe they did find success, but maybe you haven't realized that at the end of the day, these people are still very few and far between. And did they have a situation behind them like marketing resources and things like that? Because coming from ground zero, especially as an indie artist is difficult and you need to use your resources wisely versus spreading them then across a lot of different fan bases. As always, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.